I want to help you master putting the bobbin in correctly on the Bernina 880 Plus sewing machine. This is also helpful if you own a Bernina 830 sewing machine. And you, if you do it correctly, it will work 100% of the time. If you don't do it correctly, probably not going to be stitching that well. First off, we're going to open up the door. Now, one of the things I always guide my students with is when you open up this door, let it finish the whole swinging out process. Don't try to be threading the machine. Don't try to like push it back in. Um, you want to kind of just make sure it has gone ahead and gone through its whole sequence before you ask it to do another operation. So let it flip all the way out. Um, another thing too is you do need to clean and put a little drop of oil in this machine every day you sit down to sew. So make sure you check out our cleaning and oiling video so you know how to do that. It is so easy, but this machine requires lubrication and without it, things don't work well. I also have pulled out the little dentist tool with a mirror on it. So I'm going to show you how to, what it's supposed to look like underneath and you'll get a nice close up part. So one thing too, when you're using this machine is quality thread is so important. If you're using not so great thread, old thread, it might not work even if you are threading it correctly. So remember, good quality thread is what you need. So how did I get this bobbin out? First off, there's a little kind of lever in the middle and when you bring it to the center, it releases the bobbin and then you can pull it out. There's only one way to wind a bobbin and that would be correctly uh, with the silver side out and there's only one way to put this bobbin in also with those silver side out versus the not silver side. When you put it in, that also means that the thread is coming off the bobbin correctly. So notice that I pushed kind of on the outside edges as I went ahead to click it in place. Now I do have pink thread today, which is gonna help you see where I'm taking the thread to. So if you are working with a black thread, it is just important that you make sure you're getting the thread in each of these little grooves. So as I come all the way over, you need to make sure that that thread comes high enough that it can drop into that small little groove around that kind of four o'clock area. Next, as I bring this thread down and underneath, I'm going to pull firmly and let that rotate two times around. So I've let that kind of really click into place. Now, I didn't put this all the way to the back. I kind of just let it come up right around here for that pull. Now, I felt a little click and I'm gonna show you what it looks like underneath so you know how to double check that your thread is sitting in the correct place before we come over here and cut the thread towards us. So when we're done, we're gonna come over here, pull, and it will cut the thread to the perfect length for sewing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that little thread out just a little bit more. You can see the thread cutting sitting inside that little fork area, and that's when you know you have it correct threaded. If it's not in there, we'll definitely want to start the process again, pull the bobbin out and reinsert it into the groove and letting that bobbin pull two revolutions. Now, we do thread this machine slightly different for embroidery. So make sure that you look for our video on how to set it up for doing the embroidery bobbin tension. Once you've double checked that you are in that little kind of finger fork area, bring your thread around the side and then pull towards you and that cuts the perfect length. So when you close up the door and reset the bobbin and bobbin case, it's ready to stitch. Do a little test sew out and make sure everything is looking correct.